Greetings, warriors. My name's Pretty, and uh, welcome to a very impromptu video. I'm not actually sure even that this is gonna go out. If it is, uh, hi. Uh, <laughs> I have feelings. <laughs> I, I, if you don't know anything about me, I love music. Um, I have been in choir like my entire growing up years, my entire foundational years, and I just, I love music. And I, I have so many thoughts and feelings about Nouvellet's trailer, and I just need to scream them into the void so that I can like, just gush about it and talk about how how like how much of a masterpiece this is in terms of just everything it does so i will get through it um if you haven't watched it um i do advise you watch it by yourself first um and then come back to this so that you know because i'm going to be pausing quite a lot and talking about specific things of his music and tying in with the cinematics and what I understand of Nouvellet as a character. Um, Nouvellet? I, I apologize, I'm going to say his name incorrectly. <laughs> um, but like, I will be pausing quite a bit. Um, yeah, now. Okay. So before, before we actually get into the music piece, I thoroughly enjoy the overlaying voices on top of one another because come on that's gonna be Nouvellet's every single day every single day he has a court case to attend to where people are well in Fontaine very theatrical about it very over the top very accusational and very much not like how a legal court case would take place in our universe and very much a show put on so it feels like a very good introduction to Nouvellet's every day. And now, if, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, I told you guys I'm going to be pausing so much. The choir. <laughs> okay, uh, again, I've been in choir. I understand how hard it is to sing like that. Just, uh, okay, I got, I, I got, I got to play that again. It's just, mm -hmm. And also the combination of just the, um, the organ, yeah, the organ, the classic deep dramatic organ that you hear in, you know, very dramatic pieces like Phantom of the Opera, that plays underneath it, as well as the strings. The strings, the choir, and the, um, organ are very instrumental pieces to his music. And here you hear them again building with dramatic intensity. <sighs> and we focus on the organ for a little bit before we get to this dramatic man. I love him. But the organ typically is very over the top, very dramatic. It is a ginormous instrument, way too large for what it actually should do, but it is very often associated with dramatics, theater, and very much tying into what we perceive the Court of Fontaine to be. Very much what we perceive, well, Nouvellet to be. He is pretty much like the centerpiece to this grand chaotic scheme of just theatrics in this court. And he is the central centerpiece that keeps it all together, which tends to be the strings that are very, very sharp in this piece. Very sharp and very intense, especially at this beginning part. It just, uh, just listen to those. Just very sharp, very intense movements. Like I can literally picture the violinist playing that, just shaking around like crazy because it just evokes so much emotion with how they are playing the piece. Like, it... Uh, ah, mm. Okay, before I keep pausing. And then it brings, like, this sense of lullness after that dramatic 
opener, kind of evoking how we see Nouvellet. He is very much the stern, upright justice. I mean, he is the chief judge through this chaotic, dramatic orchestra that we have going on in front of us. This is his everyday life that he is watching. And just the buildup, slow buildup. You can hear the choral pieces swelling as the dramatic theatrics continue. And then it just stops. Oh, I, I don't think I can gush over how much that hits so hard. Because, all right, let's watch that again. Tying in with the th visuals, of course, but we see the slow spinning of what, you know, Nouvellet watches as a court case with a lot more dramatic zooms, tilts with the cameras as it gets more dramatic. The choir is swelling and overtaking everything until he brings the calm. He brings the silence. And a gentle piano comes in, kind of contrasting the gigantic organ and the violin and the choral pieces that we've been hearing. And then there comes the strings. Here comes the strings, the violins that I was talking about earlier, how in the beginning they were a lot more sharp, a lot more high intensity, very much, you know, grand theatrics. And now they're slow, gentle, and elegant, kind of reflecting how Nouvellet actually is as a person. While we may see him as, you know, a part of the play, a part of the theatrics of the court, the stern, noble judge, in reality, what he feels on the inside is a lot more gentle, a lot more delicate and more thoughtful than the grand theatrics that you were witnessing. And... Uh, and now the choral comes back. Just listen to it. <sighs> okay. If you, <laughs> I, I mean, if you were paying attention, you'd be like, pretty well, you are kind of crazy. But I promise I'm making a point. <laughs> but if you compare the choral piece of this section where the people are floating in the water compared to, you know, the beginning parts of it where they are a lot more intense and loud and you can feel the passion coming through almost as like you can feel the passion of the people of Fontaine. However, in this moment, it gives us a brief resp- like a resp- what's the word? It's the stopping- the Respite, 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 there we go, respite, of just emotion, where the choral pieces are a lot more lethargic sounding, a lot more gentle, a lot more elegant and peaceful, but still ramping up, obviously, because we'll get to another portion of, of like, his piece in a bit, but, like, it still is echoing probably what internally Fontaine is feeling internally what he is perceiving as the people are emotional they are going through so much strife and sadness that the only way that they can express it is through the over-the-top chaotic court that he witnesses every single day <laughs> and it, it just creates this beautiful reflection of what how he views humanity that on the outside, we are verbose and loud and chaotic, but on the inside, we are grieving and soft and suspended in water. And I know a lot of this ties into, you know, Genshin story stuff that has happened, you know, with this art conquest. And it just, it creates this beautiful painting of how he views humanity, and I can hear it through his music. <laughs> But now it, this is going to be the last part we hear the choir piece, honestly. Oh, this drop. Oh. Okay. Before we get too deep into the drop, because I fucking love it. After that drop, after we see the people floating in the water with the peaceful choir piece, we no longer hear the choir. 
we are no longer focusing on the people of Fontaine. We are no longer focusing on the outside world of Nouvellet. We are focusing on him, represented by the beautiful strings that are going on. <laughs> Just the beautiful strings that are no longer this curt, intense, violent pieces that we heard at the beginning, but more methodical, more majestic. And it's so mesmerizing to listen and listen to. Okay, we're going to listen to the drop again because we have to. And I believe this is the last we hear the organ as well. Mm. It just flows. And it also kind of brings like, so a lot of things with this uh, musical piece, by the way, it has a lot of forward motion and then backwards motion. It feels like a wave rushing over you. If you listen to the strings, they're pulling you and then they're letting you go and they're pulling you and letting you go as it is accentuated by obviously this upbeat rhythm that, you know, accentuates all of the movement and the coolness of the trailer, obviously, but it accentuates all of that movement and and it's also reflected in how this piece is kind of broken up. So we have the introduction where it's like the high intensity and we get our first little like little drop where Nouvellet is introduced with his little splash art and you know it continues in its intensity. And then after that first drop, or well, okay, then we also get to the rain. <laughs> I'm like skimming through so I can remember the different parts of it. But the rain also gives us a moment of reprise. So again, we have the intense, you know, build up and then the release. And then the tens build up and then the release. And now we're back in the attends buildup and then there's going to be another release because he is like the waves coming and going and it's also accentuated in the strings and it's magnificent. And here's our moment of peace. And this just gentleness, but you hear the tolling of the bell and the bell kind of brings this sense of doom obviously like the visuals as well apply that as well because you know there's quite a lot of stuff going on in Fontaine with the uh, doom <laughs> but the tolling of the bell kind of centers us and kind of brings this emotion to Nouvellet because yes while he might be this majestic inner emotional being he has that bell that is chiming that is reminding him that he has something he has to do, building that ominous dread that you don't really want to have when you're experiencing something peaceful. And it just builds. And, it, and now it feels like a combination of the intensity of the beginning and the elegance of his intro part and just, Back to peace now, back to quiet. And here's the piano again, gentle and in the background. And just guiding us slowly to the more deep, the, the tension from the strings and that ominous feeling that it, we had earlier with the clock. It... <sighs> so much of this. All right, I'm going to turn off the music for this part because I'm just going to be gushing about the music. It just, so much of it encapsulates what we understand of Nouvellet and tells this beautiful masterpiece that I don't think Genshin will ever top. Yes. Okay. I, I will say I am a sucker for Raiden's demo theme. Like, that was pretty much the reason that I got back into Genshin. So I tried Genshin when it first came out, and then Raiden's demo came out, and I just, I knew I had to play the game again and actually really, like, play it. But this just dominates it for me. It is such a auditory 
pleasure to listen to. It tells a wonderful story and encapsulates so many different assets of Nouvellet. It the beginning part, which we are watching right now, encapsulates the outward appearance of him, where it's a lot of dramatics, a lot of high intensity, lots of emotion that is intense and just builds up, builds up, builds up until he breaks the sound. Because he is the pillar of peace. Well, that might not play out in the story, who knows, but he very much is that for Fontaine. Whereas Fontaine is filled with flawed humans that are so emotional and so complex on the inside with dealing with grief and pain and suffering. And the way we externalize that is through the theatrics of Fontaine. He silences that. He silences it, well, in the first, and now he silences it here. And it shows us now Nouvellet's inner world, filled with the beautiful strings, the beautiful, like, the beautiful serenity of it all, but yet the intensity, in, like a different level of intensity. It's no longer like the, I want to fight and punch things. It's more of just like, I feel tense listening to it. And it's just such a beautiful composition and of course the visuals are very good I mean it's a Genshin demo trailer <laughs> all of them are very good and a visual feast for the eyes as well as excellent storytelling visually but Nouvellet's trailer brings it to such a new level of depth and I I just, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> I hope I've encapsulated all of my thoughts on this because like, okay, now we're going to just go through it again, but like, you know, oh, no, that's not the right button, me. Um, um, go away. There we go. Cause I don't, I don't know what, uh, the rules are for playing this. So I'm going to try to trick the system, <laughs> but uh, it's. Every time I listen to it, I feel like I understand Nouvellet more and more and the complexities of oh, just everything. And it's beautiful. Oh, and there was the bell in the beginning. Ah, oh, I didn't hear that at the start. <laughs> you know, again, more pieces that you can just learn and listen to. And I am happy that I got this off my chest because I would have probably kept talking about it for hours if I didn't sit down and record it. So, but yeah, uh, I will be pulling for Nouvellet, um, whenever his banner comes out because I, I love him and I, you know, <laughs> I just have to, I just have to. Once the drop happens, I, I, I'm going to end the video because if I keep trying to go, I'm going to keep finding things to talk about. But let's just take a moment and listen to this build up. Mm. So nice and so quiet. <laughs> but thank you guys uh, for, uh, you know, hanging with me on uh, this very weird video of mine that's very unedited, very unscripted, and very just bleh. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. Keep fighting your battles, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!